Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for Tuesday, September 19th, 2023. Welcome to Caleb is Tarot. If you're new, what's up? I'm glad that you're here. If you're returning, what up though? I'm glad that you're back. Leo, if this message resonates with you, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, comment, hit that bell on the side, okay? It lets me know that you guys are resonating with the message completely free for you guys and completely beneficial for me okay so i just wanted to say that before i get into the message here leo we're about to pull a pr past present future card for leo today spirit show me what i need to see for a past present future read for leo today spirit show me what i need to see for a past present future read for leo today please show me what i need to see for leo We're good there. Let's see what we got, Leo. All right, we have the full reverse for the past. We have the Eight of Pentacles upright for the present and the Ace of Cups reversed for the future. Okay, so the full um, reversed, definitely not going on an adventure. That's what that means, upright, going on an adventure. Right now in the present, you guys are really focused on your work. Leo, that's significant for someone. Um, I'm going to go ahead and look up the... cards really quick. I'm going to pull a clarifying card for the full reverse for the past really quick, guys. Spirit, get, let me get a clarifying card for the full... Jeez, if I can talk. Spirit, let me get a clarifying card for the full reverse for Leo today, please. Spirit, let me get a clarifying card for the full reverse for Leo today. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see, please. Okay. Yeah, the Hierophant. Wow, why? We keep... Why? Oh, it's just so annoying, bro. I'm like pulling a clarifying card for the Major Arcanas because they want you to. And then I pull another Major Arcana, so that's just stressful. If you guys are new, um, this is a book by Dusty White called The Easiest Way to Learn the Tarot Ever. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and look up what the full reverse is for you guys in the past here. <clears throat> Missteps and fear brought about by overanalysis, fear of the unknown, self-limitation forces one to remain in whatever prison they have created for themselves, inability to act decisively, check expecting cards to see who and what is helping create or enforce this limitation, open it up to reveal how this can become, this can be overcome. Hesitance almost always means opportunities missed. Also, if the fool steps halfway, trying to be both on the cliff and off, he will almost certainly fall. Don't do that. Some of you guys are being held back here. Um, or feels like you're being held back, feels like you're stuck in whatever prison because of someone who is highly intuitive in your life, Leo, someone who uh, has spiritual abilities, um, or it could be you. Maybe you have spiritual abilities, however, you're trying to ignore them, so it's making you feel stuck. I mean, uh, I can read the Hierophant for you really quick, uh, just so you guys get a better picture of understanding where I'm coming from. Um, so it could be someone in your life who does things by the book, who says orthodoxy, doing things by the book and only by the book, strict regimen, morals and dogma, social conservatism, conformity, institutionalism, obedience or tradition, being preached to by someone either in authority or by someone who presumes authority. Um, so you got someone in your life here, Leo, that is making you feel stuck because they are so old school. They like do things one type of way and only one type of way. I mean, I'm talking like this dude wants to have sex with your ass if you're a female and he only wants to do missionary. You know what I'm saying? This is that type of energy I'm getting from whoever this person is. Spirit, show me who I need to see for Leo in the past here that's making them feel stuck. This person who does things by the book, this uh, spiritual, spiritually intelligent person, whoever this may be. Show me what I need to see for Leo in the past here. Some of you guys are dealing three of swords here. So some of you guys are feeling really stuck um, based on someone who only does things one way and they are like, what, it says three of uh, swords here. So they're basically what, they broke your heart or something? Heartbreak, despair, despondence, depression, betrayal, but by someone very close to you, abandonment, jealousy, infidelity, love triangle. Okay, so it's like you guys are dealing with two different people here, okay? And you're, it's like maybe you're not sure who to choose, okay? We got an air sign here. 
Leo. So it could be an air sign as one of the people that you're dealing with, or maybe uh, it's this person that is um, only does things by the book one certain type of way here that broke your heart. Um, they could be uh, verbally hurting you, they could be emotionally hurting you, or even physically, okay? Um, so very close to you, someone very close to you, and there could be a love triangle for some of you guys out here, Leo. That's not gonna be for everyone. If it does resonate with you, though, you know what to do. Hit that like button, Leo. Share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, okay? Love you guys. We're gonna go ahead and look at the present card here, the Eight of Pentacles for you guys. See what they got going on with that, okay? It says, work, work, work. This card can mean many things. At first blush, it reveals an apprentice or one whose level of skill is worthy of employment, but not such that they are an artiste or a master capable of opening up their own shop. That leads this card to be an indicator of a job or simple gainful employment even if that job lasts 20 years. The card also indicates an artesian or craftsman who specializes in a certain area of service or manufacture. In this case, the card shows us a physical artist, a true artisan, or a skilled specialist in physical matters. Finally, the alternate aspect of the apprentice is one who studies, meaning a student or a vocational school or the act of attending adult education to better oneself. Look at expecting cards first. So some of you guys out here are um, in school, you're studying right now for other <clears throat> others of you guys, since you've gone through this past hurt situation here, you're now focusing on work, Leo. You're uh, choosing to not pay attention to the uh, feelings and emotions that you're going through right now, which is probably a good thing. Um, even though you still need to work work your way through it, through it, you're doing it your own way and you're using your job most likely as a way to do that, as a medium for you to work through your emotions, okay, Leo? That's specific for someone out here, okay? Um, that's pretty clear. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the Ace of Cups for the future here. Leo, the Ace of Cups reversed. Now, I'm not going to lie, Leo. I, I, I'm not, I don't think that's the best thing whenever it comes in a reversal. However, I'm not sure. So let's clarify. Let's see what Spirit has to say for you guys, okay? Depression, unhappiness, and malaise potentially devastating news with any page or swords okay devastating news with any page or swords loss of love faith or happiness separation from one's personal source of inspiration and hope drug overdose in a medical spread or if suspected negatively by sword cards or cards akin to the five of cups poison some of you guys here, because of this past situation that went down where the Three of Swords came out and you're hurt based on this person that is traditional and only does things by the book over here, um, it's just be careful here, guys. Don't focus on your work so much to where you're not dealing with the emotions at all because if you do that, what's going to end up happening is you're going to become really depressed, okay? You're going to be unhappy, unhappy um, loss of love, faith, and happiness. You're losing your faith, your love, and your happiness. Um, so it's like you're moving away from your own source of inspiration and hope. Um, you could be possibly having a drug overdose if you guys partake in certain things like that. Be very careful as to not overdo it, okay guys? That's specific for someone out there. Poison, yeah, so some of you guys are gonna have to be very careful here in the future. It's either you, Leo, or it's someone that you're dealing with because this is a water card, okay? It could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio that you're dealing with, Leo. And since you are or were dealing with this person and you are now going through the pain or have went through the pain of losing this person and are focusing on your work, this person is showing up in your reading. Um, or it could be you, Leo, if you have water in your chart. Uh, you can look at your chart on cafeastrology.com if you know what time you were born and where you were born. <clears throat> and see if you have any water placements in your chart. It could be you, but it could also be someone else that you're dealing with in your energy here, okay? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that for where it is right there, Leo. Uh, let's go ahead and pull a ancestor message from the S Ancestors Oracle card for you guys. Wow, um, some of you guys may be, um, might have grandmother, this is a grandmother, Grace, maybe your grandmother, maybe you guys need to talk to your grandmother or speak to your grandmother. If they are still around, talk to them, see what they gotta say about this situation, this love situation that you're going through where you're very hurt, focusing on your work. 
talk to them about, about how they feel about it or ask their advice possibly. Could be uh, significant for someone out here, Leo. Um, let's go ahead and see really quick before I pull this Ancestor Oracle card, Leo. If this message has resonated with you, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Comment down in the bottom. Let me know that it resonated with you. Hit that bell on the side. It's completely free for you guys and totally beneficial for me and the channel. Okay, guys, uh, every single time that I post a video, I get new subscribers. So I know that someone out here is resonating with the messages that I'm putting on here. Okay. <clears throat> I don't care if I get one subscriber. One new subscriber is one new person listening and resonating with what I got going on. I'm cool with that, okay? Let's see what we gotta say, see what we gotta see here. Actually, one more, one more, one more they're asking. So, boom, boom, let's, yeah, see it right there. Caregiver support. Leo, some of you guys out here are caregivers. You guys give a lot of support to the people in your lives, okay? That's significant for someone out here. Let's see what your uh, ancestors are trying to say to you guys through me drawing this card here. Caregiver, caregiver. Hi, I'm you guys, maybe like that song Jericho. Maybe like Jericho. I don't know. Whether it's caring for another person, an animal, a plant, or anything else. <clears throat> Whether it's caring for another person, an animal, a plant, or anything else, the fundamental mission of the caregiver is to provide support for the one who needs it. Support can be expressed in many forms, from watering a thirsty plant to holding a vigil for someone who is ailing. There are occupations whose fundamental purpose is to help others in their healing and recovery, such as those in healthcare. There are those who provide sustenance, there are those who provide sustenance and care for animals, both domestic and wild, through advocacy or hands-on assistance. Others offer their love and care for the plant kingdom, whether by sustaining the lives of indoor plants, tending to a garden, or appreciating the abundant plant life found in nature. Just as importantly, there are many opportunities for performing acts of kindness, ones that affect the receiver in, po in positive and sometimes profound ways. Done without any expectation of a return a simple act where the receiver feels the love and care you have expressed all right this is what your ancestor is trying to say to you through me drawing this card okay leo about forgot what song we were on there for a second sorry guys <laughs> wanted to make sure we were on leo you're a compassionate and caring person so honor this calling to offer care and support to other beings do so from a place of non-attachment, with an intention of giving without receiving anything in return. Let it go. As challenging as this may be, the practice of doing so will free you from the habit of seeking something in return, such that when the response is less than anticipated, you will avoid feeling resentful. As well, it's time to take risks in asking for support from others, which for you can be challenging. It's a trap that you can easily fall into, one of avoiding asking or receiving anything for yourself. No need to martyr yourself, otherwise you could eventually end up feeling like a victim. All right, Leo, that's specific for someone out here, okay? Leo, if this message resonated with you guys today, please hit that like, like, share, subscribe, hit that bell, leave a comment down in the bottom if it resonated with you guys, okay? Just wanna throw that out there, okay? Leo, sorry that you guys are going through the pain that you're going through. Hope everything works out and moves good for you in the future here, okay? This is going to be the end of your reading today, Leo. Like I said, if that resonated with any of you guys, hit that like, share, subscribe, comment down in the bottom. I'll be happy. I'll be happy with anything that I get for you guys, all right? <clears throat> Love you guys. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, okay? Love yourself first.